In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the new Michael Britt preset pack for the STL Tone Hub plugin. So what is STL's Tone Hub? Tone Hub is a plugin that's designed to host a myriad of guitar and bass preset packs and amp profiles by some of the biggest artists and producers out there. Think of it as your favorite amp modeler without the need for hardware, but just as powerful and equally superior quality. And who is Michael Britt, you may ask? Well, he's best known for his guitar work with the country band Lone Star, but he's also quite the amp collector, and he's also known as one of the foremost amp profilers in the business. Many of you may be familiar with his preset packs and profiles for other platforms such as Kemper and Helix, but not everybody owns these devices, so this is a great way, especially if you're on a budget, to get those same high quality tones. And this is also especially exciting because STL Tones is kind of known for the more high gain metal type stuff. So this preset pack is going down an avenue that's more of like boutique amps and Nashville session style type of sounds. So it's definitely a welcome addition to the STL line of products. Now I should point out, I did a review a couple months back on another STL plugin called AmpHub, which is pretty similar. But I think the main difference is that AmpHub uses multiple built-in amp models and is designed to be more extensive as far as tweakability and tailoring sounds to your own personal tastes. While ToneHub, although it does have the capability to tweak the sounds and use some of the built-in effects, I think the preset packs were designed to be ready to use, you know, just click on them and play. And I think that's pretty evident with this Michael Britt preset pack. There are 126 presets in this pack, which is a lot compared to some of the other uh, ToneHub packs that I've seen. This is more than double. And it's cool because you can still tweak and kind of tailor it to your own personal tastes. But I think once you hear the sounds, you might be like me and just kind of leave the sounds as they are. I think the focus is really on the ready to use tones, ergo the name Tone Hub. So I just want to give you a quick tour of the features and some of my favorite tones. Like I said, there's 126 presets in this pack, so I can't show you everything, but I want to give you a little bit of an overview. But before I talk about the presets, I want to jump down to the control section so you can see how Tone Hub uh, actually works. So as you can see, there's five different icons here. Each uh, applies to different features that you can apply to the uh, presets on, you know, on top of the sounds of the presets. So the, uh, the stomp icon, which is kind of going before the amp, they include actually one, two, three, four, five, six uh, pedal uh, simulations. We've got a compressor, there's four overdrive slash boost slash distortion uh, models. I believe they kind of go up in um, gain. Like I believe the overdrive one is kind of like a tube screamer type overdrive two and overdrive three it gets a progressively more gainy. Um, overdrive four is like a, a booster. It's like a treble booster. Uh, and then you have a graphic EQ. So that's a nice feature to have. Moving on to the uh, the amp section, you'll see this tracing amplifier. It stays, this graphic stays the same with every single preset from any pack. So this is kind of just your control of, your basic controls over the amp. You have gain, EQ section, we got a resonance uh, knob, master level, uh, bias and sag buttons as well. Uh, Truthfully, I don't mess around with this that much unless I want to kind of tweak the gain or the bass response of certain uh, presets. But for the most part, I, I, I leave the presets as they are. Uh, same thing with the cabinet. So um, this is kind of a basic uh, cabinet miking simulation. Uh, you can control the distance uh, of the single mic. It's basically a single mic on a single speaker, and you'll see when I go into the presets that uh, a lot of the presets are mic'd with two different uh, speakers, or, or two different mics, I'm sorry. Uh, so you don't really have control of that individually, but this is kind of like a control over like a master speaker. So you can control the angle, um, resonance, high pass and low pass filters. This I don't really mess around with that much either, unless I want like more of a, um, room noise or something like that, but this I don't really touch. Um, moving on, you have a, ma a master EQ 
section. So this is great, especially if you're recording. Um, a lot of times I'll flip this on and just cut some of the low frequencies. Um, Cause when I record, I like to, uh, you know, shelf some of the frequencies uh, around like a hundred. Or sometimes if I find that a preset is a little bit fizzy because we are in a digital realm, uh, sometimes I will cut somewhere on like the, the 7K mark. Um, but a lot of times they're fine, especially with this Michael Britt pat. They'll, you'll, you'll hear that the presets are pretty spot on. And then lastly, we have post effects. So this is like the, the effects that you would send through like an effects loop in an amp or like in a recording situation, like after all of your gain staging and your EQing. So they include some uh, really cool pedals. You've got a delay pedal, digital delay pedal, uh, reverb, um, and then you've got like some modulation stuff, chorus, flange, phaser, tremolo. So this is really cool stuff if you want to add to the actual presets, because most of these presets are pretty uh, basic as far as just kind of an, you know, an amp sound. There's also some cool uh, profiles that he made, that Michael Britton made, that pair certain overdrive pedals. Uh, so they're included in the actual uh, profile which I'll get to that in a second. So I believe there's 16 different amps, uh, everything from vintage Fenders to like modern Bogner style amps and a bunch of boutique amps uh, like Two Rock, Carolan, Trainwreck, basically amps that I've never played uh, or ha had the money to buy. So this is exciting for me. Uh, and mind you, I've never really delved into the Kemper stuff. So the whole amp profile thing is, is new territory for me. So that's exciting to me because I basically have all these new amps that I've never played. Uh, I highly suggest getting this PDF, which is basically the, the info sheet that has everything you need to know about this. And I will show it to you right here. We've got uh, some third power amps. We've got the third power American Dream, third power British Dream, so we have Fendery stuff, we got Voxy stuff, Plexi stuff, divided by 13, uh, Fender 57 Deluxe, a bunch of Fenders, Vibroverb, Pro Reverb, um, so combo amps, plus heads, we got Marshall Plexis, a 68 Plexi, I believe that's a 50 watt. Um, you've got JMPs, Bogner Metropolis, CAA OD100, which is, I believe is similar to my Sir PT100. Uh, so that's like a channel switching amp. Carol Ann, I've never played a Carol Ann amp. JCM800, Marshall Clubman. So this is all stuff that for me as someone that does some recording work and session work, this is like the perfect mix of amps. Top Hat, Two Rock, Trainwreck. Um, so, also, something that I learned, and here's all the info on the, uh, the amps if you want to know more about it. Something that I learned about the preset naming that he does. If there's a letter at the end of the preset name that usually denotes that he recorded the profile or he created the profile with an overdrive pedal uh, in front of the amp, which, which is something that I do a lot just to get a different character, a different color out of the amp. So a K would denote a Klon or a Klon type pedal. R is his red or blues breaker style pedal. T is the Timmy. So these are all pretty standard uh, kind of overdrives that a lot of session players would use. Blues driver, Petty John Gold. Never even tried that before. So let's check out some of the sounds. Uh, the very first preset is the third power American Dream. <laughs> I should point out that I am uh, using my Duesenberg Starplayer TV, uh, one of my favorite axes to use in the studio. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's kind of like a standard edge of breakup Fendery style tone. Moving on to the very next one, this has a K at the uh, end of the preset. So I'm assuming this is uh, the same amp settings with a Klon in front. So let's hear the difference. So I can already hear on this preset, there is delay and there is reverb. So I'm gonna shut it off so we can hear it dry.
going back to the non, the, the cleaner version. <laughs> So there is a little bit of gain, a little more compression. Now the next preset has a T, which I believe means uh, there's a Timmy pedal instead. So let's hear the difference. So this is actually sounding a little bit cleaner. But it's also a little bit fuller. Now you'll see just on this amp alone, we've got uh, eight presets. So there's multiple flavors in one amp. I'm just gonna go up the line here and just uh, let you listen to the different tones. cool that doesn't even sound like a fender style amp to me at this point uh let's check out some other stuff uh divide i'm gonna just randomly click on uh presets because i know there's a lot so let's check out a, one of these divided by 13s this is a uh kt which might be a clon and a timmy in front <laughs> all right so i'm gonna take off the delay Leave the reverb. So if I go into the amp, play around with the gain. So even with this profile that's supposed to be a little bit gainy, I can turn down the gain knob on the amplifier and get it to clean up. Let's play with some of the effects now. So if I go to the effects tab, put a little bit of tremolo. Let's just try like a flange. So if you want to get a little bit, you know, effecty, you can. Let's try a plexi out. I like plexis. So here's a situation. Maybe if I want to tweak the EQ, Turn on the EQ. Maybe. Just to kind of tame down the high mids if I want something not as uh, brash. Maybe uh, cut the lows. Maybe not that low. Yeah, 
yeah, something like that. I don't know. But you could play around with it. Let's try a 72 JMP. Let's try the first one. really good. All right, let's try something boutique-y. Carol Ann. Well, this has effects already on the presets. What do we have here? Oh, there's a chorus. Interesting. Yeah, I've never tried a Carolan tripper or a triple R. It's a lot more gain than I thought. Uh, let's go to a top hat, King Royale. Another amp that I've never played through. Well, Voxy, maybe. Oh, there's a lot of top hat King Royal presets. Let's try this one. Let's play around with some of the stomps. So we can put a compressor on there. Just to even it out and give it a little bit of level. We can add one of the STL overdrives. Move on to rock. I don't have a two rock. And it does respond to the rolling off of your volume knob on the guitar, which is great. I think we're getting to the end here. Uh, let's try this uh, train wreck, dirty little monster. That's a nice sounding amp. Killer. 
this is a lot more gain than I expected as well. Uh, let's go back to some of the uh, Fendery things, like the uh, 57 Deluxe. That's always a hard profile to get because it's so clean. Let's see if we can get it cleaner. I like that though. Hearing delay, so there's a little slap delay. I'll take off the reverb. And if you want to try to get it cleaner, you can always manipulate the uh, the, the input signal. Killer. And if I like a preset that I've manipulated, you can actually save it. I believe if you go here to the preset and hit the plus button, RJ Clean Slap, let's say that. And what I like about this is that it's a plugin, so I can put this on multiple guitar tracks, and it's kind of like non destructive recording because uh, it's I can manipulate the tones and change the sounds on the particular guitar track. Uh, if I want to change something after I record it. Okay, there you have it. That's the STL Tone Hub Michael Britt Pack. I'll have all the information down in the description below. Thanks again for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comments section. If you'd be so kind, click that thumbs up. Feel free to share this video with all your friends and family. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos and guitar lessons, click that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm RJ Ronquillo, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.